Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Now today, as you can tell by the title, we are reviewing a Lima model. Now I have no idea why I've put the box around the other way because you already know what this video is if you've clicked on it. But anyway, so I thought uh, over the next couple of weeks I'd be reviewing some of my Lima stock. Um, so starting with this one, which is... A Lima Class 66, also known as a Shed, <laughs> nicknames by rail enthusiasts. Now this one is a special edition uh, produced by Lima in celebration of the 100th anniversary, I mean, anniversary, the 100th Class 66 built for EWS when it was around. Um, it did come with a certificate, unfortunately I am unsure where that is. As I haven't run this loco or, you know, just had it out for a very long time. Um, I bought this at uh, Railex 20... 2012, I think. Yes, 2012. So, um, it's been in my collection for a while. And, uh, I guess we will have a look at it. So, the box is a bit tatty. Uh... Well, the actual box is pretty good, but the price tag and stuff costs about $50 from memory, and well worth it, I think. Now, this was at a stage when I wasn't really thinking what I was going to model, and um, I was like, oh, that 66 looks nice, let's buy that, which I subsequently did, otherwise it wouldn't be here today. So, here it is. Now, being a Lima model, if we chuck that one side. It has got a ring field motor in one bogey. If you can just see up there. And um and, and it's got the standard large tension lock couplings. But um start down this end got some very nice detail along the body side. Um especially those grills which uh I think they're molded but they're still very nice and some um some nice bogey detail there as well. Um, obviously the fuel tanks, or the tanks, air reservoirs or something, I'm not sure. Um, and the nice livery, nice, quite crisp actually for its age, livery application. And EWS, English, Welsh and Scottish. Uh, 66, 100, being the 166, so, um, I think only a thousand of these models were made, not quite sure. Uh, but... It's still a really nice model, and not a bad runner, despite its age. Um, again, just the same bogey decal down there, and, um, oh, whoa, and, uh, English, Welsh, and Scottish Railway, there's a bunch of specifications just there, which you probably can't read, or you definitely can't read. Um, moving on to that classic General Motors front end. Uh, it's just classic, and I, believe it or not, actually like the front end of the 66s and their older, slightly older sisters, the 59s. They are just really nice models. I mean, not models, uh, you know, prototypes. Um, what seems to be the horn up there, I think, some light or something, and then, um, the cant rail stripe running right round the, uh, perimeter of the body and the window molding in the cab I think that's actually slightly fallen out has it yes I think so I'll have to repair that sometime um, now the lights are not uh, you know lit up with bulbs they're just um, all painted bits of plastic got 66 100 there just above the uh, right hand uh, light board thing and a whole bunch of holes which I predict are for uh, fitting details, but this model didn't come with any, so, um, just moulded plastic buffers and a large tension lock, um, in terms of roof detail, it is not bad at all, uh, got an, uh, not etched again, but still quite nice, well, it's picking up all the dust, isn't it, <laughs> um, you got a nice, uh, grill for the roof, and then some moulded detail, and then, what I think is actually a separately fitted, uh, what looks to be a, an exhaust 
uh, that's what that holds for I think so um, it's not a bad model so basically how it's driven it's got the uh, ring field motor in that end that's a, that's just a non-powered bogey and then it's got a big weight in the middle uh, to weigh it down basically because it's quite light um, now of course it is a nice model don't get me wrong um, but it doesn't get used very much um, and that's for good reason because I don't really tend to model EWS in the modern 21st century era um, but it does get uh, I've sort of it it was dead for a couple of years because the solder joint in that bogey there came loose and sort of prevented it from running but I got it soldered back a, quite a few months back now and I ran it a couple of times and it didn't I mean, and then I sort of forgot about it. I dug it out a few weeks ago now, and it's been sort of slowly chugging along, excuse the pun, um, in front of a mixed train, which, or not a mixed train, but a, uh, a goods train. I don't have a set rake of wagons for this, and this, um, w when the layout was on the floor, many, two or three years ago now, um, I used to double head it with the Class 60, and that made a nice combo. Or combination so um I think we'll head over to the layout now and uh, we'll see how it performs here she is drawing into shot now uh, now excuse the loudness of the model uh, being a Lima model it hasn't got the quietest of motors but um it looks good I've uh, got a little good strain if I turn the tripod up there's uh, another modern counterpart over there on the inner main Oh, tripod's a bit jerky today, uh, but uh, I think we'll uh, get some running shots now, and um, I'll get back to you with a little conclusion. All right, I'll see you in a second, guys, or a few minutes, actually. <laughs> Well, there we go, guys. The Lima Class 66. And what do you know? It's almost in, in shot. There you go. Um, so, what a great model, really. Uh, for its age, uh, the motor runs really well. I think the previous owner had taken 
uh, pretty good care of it actually. Um, it looks good on a nice freight train, I must say, and um, looks great double heading as well. So, ugh. Um, mind you, you can pick up a new Horn or newish, newer rather, newer Hornby one of these for you know quite a good price. But if you want to go the extra, buy a Barkman one. <laughs> you know, they're great. They've got lights, they're DCC ready and all that. But um, for a Lima model, this is quite something. So I um, hope you've enjoyed this review. Uh, stay tuned for next time, another video coming at you. And um, yeah, so as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Like me on Facebook as Crucero4472. Haven't done this in a while. <laughs> A bit rusty. Um, and as always, guys, see you later.